Now what we're going over today is re-threading a MIG machine. Uh, there's a couple of reasons to do this. First, you could have your contact tip freeze, which would then cause a bird nest. So what you're going to have to do is snip the wire behind the bird nest, clean all the old wire out, and then re-thread it. Uh, another reason would be you just ran out of wire. Eventually the spool runs out and you got to change it. There's a couple of different ways to do this. Um, first, some do's and don'ts, top versus bottom. What we're talking about here is where the wire comes off the roll. Some of them have um, the drive roll set up to where you want the wire coming off the top. Some of them have the drive roll set up to where they want it coming off the bottom. So you got to figure out uh, which is which. You're going to want to take your contact tip out when you're re-threading because what will happen is it'll, it'll stick on, on the butt of the contact tip because there's usually where you snip the wire a little burr and it'll catch on the contact tip so you want to take that out. And then you want to straighten your, uh, your gun out. Just straighten it out so that it feeds nice and smooth and doesn't have to do a lot of turning and curving. Uh, the biggest don't you got here is don't release the wire. If you let the spool go or let the wire fall out of your hand, it's going to fly all over the place. Now I'll try and find an old uh, roll of wire we got out there and I'll just let it do that. Um, the other thing is, is don't let uh, somebody hit the gun trigger when you're feeding it through because it'll make the wire uh, hot and you'll get shocked. Nothing serious but getting shocked is never fun so you're going to want to make sure that nobody's playing with the gun trigger while you're down there feeding it into the drive rolls. So we'll get out there and uh, get this started. Alright, the first thing we're going to do before we start putting in the new wire is we're going to turn the shielding gas off. That way, when you re-thread the wire, you're not just hissing gas in the air and losing money on the shielding gas. So turn this baby off here. Right, what we're looking at here is the inside of the MIG machine. You can see there's the drive rolls. And when you run out of wire, it usually uh, stops the roll from moving. And then usually you get a little bit of suck back on the uh, stick out of your uh, contact tip. So what we're going to do now is just snip the old wire. So we're going to come in here, snip this. And then we're going to release the drive roll so that the wire is freed up here. And we'll go pull it from the gun now. And show you what happens if you accidentally let the wire go when you're trying to feed it in. There's not much wire left on this. Snip this. And if you let it go, that's what it does. And your whole roll screwed up because what will happen is if you try and re wheel this back onto the spool it's going to end up crossing over itself and it just gets stuck and it just doesn't work so basically you've lost the roll of wire. Okay the next step here is we're going to grab this old wire and we're going to pull it out so it stops coming out. Then we're going to remove our gas cup our contact tip. Let's the contact tip. That way it can't catch when you put the new wire on it. Okay, the first thing you're going to look for here before you start threading this is which way does it come off, the top or the bottom? And you can see it's angled like this with the drive rolls to the liner. So that's going to want it to come off the top if it was tilted like this, you want to off the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and take this. First, there's this little device, it's like a spring-loaded clipping mechanism. Just put that on there. It was on far enough. It's locked in. Take this wire now. You're going to stick it in the slot. Getting it in the liner can be tough. So we're in the liner. We're going to go ahead and push this down. I usually go until it gets a little bit into the Gun, lock it in place, now you're ready to feed it. 
Okay, now that okay, now that we've got the wire started in the dry rolls, rolls and it's going into the actual liner, all you have to do is pull this trigger. You want to make sure the wheels keep moving, and you can see how I straightened out the gun. So you just keep pulling this in until the wire eventually comes out. This Miller has a jog feature, so you can't crank, crank the wire feed all the way up to get it to go faster. This machine won't do that, and that's kind of risky anyways. If it does catch on something, you'll end up with a bird nest and do it all over again. So we're just going to keep monitoring our machine, waiting for the wire to come out. Now that we got the wire out, we're going to take contact tip, slide it back on, thread it on, then you take pliers and just snug it. It doesn't have to be so tight. Just cross there, just snug it. Gas cut back on, then clip the wire. I don't know, three eighths of an inch out of the cup. And you're ready to weld. Alright, now that it's three threaded, all you gotta do is close your door. Make sure you remember to turn your shielding gas back on, otherwise you'll have a mess. Okay, you should be ready to go. Next thing we're gonna go over on uh, my next video is gonna be on a uh, push pull gun. We'll show you how to re-thread one of those. We'll get into some push pull video. It's a little bit more difficult. We're going to be using aluminum, so it's a little soft.